Oku from Hackney. Dive across nicely from oh, and he called his leg on that one. And Pharrell injured his leg when he got out the ring in his earlier match. We thought it was okay, but that's a reoccurring injury now, and it's uh, causing all sorts of problems. Very sportingly, Oku just waits. He could, he will be legally allowed to take full advantage of that. My word, if he puts on the half crab now, it really is good night, Vienna. To, be, to try and get his old title back, he lost the title to Michael Oku. In Tunbridge, oh, and straight on that knee again. And that leg is giving him all sorts of problems. Well, now, Ostras are getting medical attention. It's the second at ringside, just seeing how badly damaged is that leg. An injury he sustained in the first match. What's happening in this match? Well, Michael Oka just making see if he's okay. Oh, this will be a total night of disappointment at Rayleigh after losing the title for the tag title. Now, if he's forced to pull out of the undisputed title due to injury, he'll carry on for as long as he can, but the referee might stop it. Well, very sportingly, Michael Oku is waiting, but it's the nature of the business. You have to go for your weakened opponent. It's what you have to do. Pharrell is very aware of it. Michael Oku putting on the pressure on that injured leg. And my word, he's going to do a wrench against the corner pad, corner post. Now, that isn't exactly sporting. Aye, 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 that isn't. What has Pharrell got in the bag that he can pull out? This isn't exactly an eagle. We said he was being sporting earlier on. Well, referee Martin Raymond is going to have to step in here a little bit. In Oku's third title defence. And Pharrell, uh, so he lost the title to Michael Oku in Tunbridge. Winning submission move. Will Pharrell tap? He's not far away from those ropes. If he can just grab those ropes, he'll force a break. He's almost there. But the half crab is on. Oku will lean back for full force of the single leg Boston Crab. This is Oku's speciality. This is what he does best. And Pharrell is not submitting. There he is, pulling right back. The ultimate pain, the ultimate grimace. But the grimace is on Oku. He's saying tap out, he's found the ropes. He's found the ropes, it's a break called. Well, how did a check from Martin Raymondson to make sure that Pharrell can continue. Oh, a neat over the top double twist. Not many wrestlers can do that, not many wrestlers perform that. But for Oku, it's a walk in the park now. And he's still going on. We've had about 20 minutes of this, and he's still going on once again. The Hackney style tries for his half-crab single-leg Boston submission move. He's got the grip, if he can just turn him over. But that wasn't what he was anticipating. So many near chances. Oh! That was loud. That reverberated. A huge round of applause. High drop kick. That was an absolute corker. Tanks him down. What's he going to do? Sunset flip. Splash! A chance to cover, one, two, it's a three, he's done it! Michael Oku. Oh, for goodness sake.
Okay, gentlemen, okay, Mule. me the chance to become the first ever triple champion of WrestleForce. And like I said before, WrestleForce isn't just somewhere to work for me. WrestleForce means something. I was one of the original guys here. And having these belts, it's a real honor and it reminds me of when I started. If the decathlons taught me anything, it's that it's not over until it's over. So yeah, okay, Levi, you cost me and Danny those tag championships and you cost me the chance to be that first triple champion. But you know what? I kept my head in the game because I knew I had a challenge in Michael Oku. Second time, first time we fought each other. I'd done something I thought I'd never do. I tapped out. So I knew I had to make sure, I had to make sure I left here tonight with redemption and I'd done that by the skin of my teeth. And respect to him, okay. It was a vicious tactic, but he done what he needed to do. I have no hard feelings towards you, Michael. And I do want the chance to make that 2-1. We're one apiece right now. But first, assuming they haven't got any plans for me in these belts, Levi, I want you. I want you for these belts. I want you in that ring. I want a chance to get even with you. So management, whatever you have to do, let him jump the queue. Let him come at me. Levi, I want you. I want a chance to make this right. I'm going to continue to be a champion. The promotion could be proud of. And Danny, we'll get those belts back. 